Hey guys, Denise Salcedo here for Red Carpet Report, and today we're at the Beverly Hills Four Seasons for the 2015 Media Access Awards, celebrating awareness and disability and inclusion in media and entertainment. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing great. So let me ask you, what does it mean for you personally to be at the Media Access Awards here today? Uh, I think it's great that um, a lot of people can join together and really support a great cause. So, you know, it's important to have events like this that bring awareness to disability. Yeah. You know, for you, do you think that there's, you know, lacking disabled people in front of the camera? Uh, I do think people are lacking in front of the camera. Um, I think it's one of those things where, you know, obviously not everybody can be this way, but there are a lot of people that are disabled in the United States and in the world. So I think it should filter in to TV a little bit more easier than it does now. Um, but, you know, everything picks up steam over time. And so hopefully events like this and just people getting out there uh, can help bring more people to the film media. So what has been your experience trying to break into the industry? Um, I'd like to say I have a really interesting um, let's experience because I started out with two arms and it was awesome. Joined SAG, people wanted to meet me. They were like, you're a leading man, you're awesome. And then I lost my arm halfway through. In fact, I'm at like the halfway point. Four years in SAG with an arm, four years of SAG without an arm. Um, it is a little bit of a niche, you know, if they write in a disability role, but I always tell people I'd, I'd like to trade back to being a, you know, a 20s white male, because <laughs> I'm not a 20s white male anymore, because um, that's how loud the arm is. Um, so it's, it's interesting trying to break in and still move through those channels. Um, you have to get a little closer to people, you have to play things closer to the chest to try to get back to roles that you might have earned uh, had you not had your disability. So would you say that there has been a major difference now in change, like in your experience in SAG? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm still s treated, you know, the right way and everything, and there's always respect in the room, but it's just I don't get called in the same way, and, and it's literally just the arm that's different. So just seeing that perspective change um, is very interesting to me. So right now, do you have anything that you're working on right now that you're very excited about? I do. I actually just booked Jack Reacher 2 oh, nice. uh, with a scene across from Tom Cruise. Uh, I don't think it can get any better than that. Um, also, uh, I also have a movie out, uh, Circle, on Netflix, which is an awesome film, and I'm in that for a long time. You know, it's a good, chunky role. Um, and then I'm trying to think if I have anything else, but definitely Jack Reacher 2 is, is yeah. amazing. Tom Cruise. I mean, how cool. Have you already started shooting that? Uh, in December. December. Okay, cool. I'm going to look forward to a lot of Tom Cruise stories with you, so you're going to have to save all those notes for me. <laughs> I hopefully I'll have plenty for you. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for talking to us and enjoy your day today. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye. Thank you guys for watching our coverage of the 2015 Media Access Awards. In the comments below, let us know who inspires you the most. And make sure to like this video and subscribe.